Since the early 2000s, shipping container building has been popping up all over the globe, from tiny houses to luxury homes, and now even shopping malls are using them. But is this something that's going to become more common in the future, or is it just a trend? In this video, we are going to be visiting a range of shipping container projects, so that we can settle this argument once and for all. First of all, let's give you a quick recap. The shipping container was first invented in 1956, and nowadays 95% of all goods are moved around the world in these boxes. There are currently 43 million containers worldwide, but only 23 million of these are in service. This means currently 20 million containers are on land. These are either newly made containers, or containers which can no longer be used. This leaves us with a fundamental question. What should we do with all of these unused metal boxes? Well, some people are converting them into affordable tiny homes, such as these well-known YouTubers. They are also being used to create luxury houses, such as this example in California. Larger corporations are using them to create entire shopping centres, such as Box Park in London, or the brand new Book Street Market in Camden. We chose to visit a project in London known as the Container City, so that we could get a closer look. I'm trying to get away from people living on site, yeah. so yeah. most of them are studios. Yeah. Um, majority of the studios are occupied by creatives, so mm -hmm. you, you've got either artists or designers. Yeah. Somewhere out of London, we've got a place where we can prepare the containers yeah. to do the internal yeah. fabricate, and then it just minimises the time yeah. on site. So yeah. if you have a project in central London, like the Camden one is a good example, mm. I, you've probably seen how right the high yeah. is, and the high street is busy, there was not much access, but because the containers were prepared as well, mm. it was a quite quick... Yeah, in and out. Yes, right, yeah, yeah, like this building was, they put it together in five days. Wow. <laughs> um, That's incredible. Um, but once you're inside, you cannot, as, apart from the round windows, there's nothing unusual about yeah. the space. Um, yeah. As you can see, the containers are drawn together, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. and it creates a very spacious yeah. environment. It's just like being in, in any other building. Yeah. It's, it's a question of insulation. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah, as you see, like this building is quite old at this point. Mm -hmm. Twenty years later, um, still functioning. It, it's, yeah. just, it's not. Yeah. not nothing is wrong. Yeah. So why isn't this building method becoming more mainstream? Well, the problem is the majority of these projects are actually using new containers. In fact, in California, there is a housing law which only allows new containers to be used, as they fear that the used containers may be contaminated from products used in shipping. Therefore, from an environmental standpoint, there is absolutely zero benefit in using these new shipping containers for housing, as they should be out delivering products and doing what they were originally designed to do. The projects that use older shipping containers are repurposing an unused material, which on the surface may appear beneficial for the environment, however a lot of modifications are required to make the space habitable, as a corrugated steel box is not designed for human comforts. These include window cuts, structural reinforcements, ventilation, damp proofing and insulation, to name just a few of the processes required. However, the rugged aesthetic that containers provide may be the reason why people are continuing to create buildings using shipping containers. On the other hand, buildings don't always have to house people. For example, Elon Musk's brother, Kimball Musk, is converting shipping containers into sustainable farms, which can provide food to places where there is an inhospitable climate. Shipping containers have been deliberately designed so that they can be transported by sea, rail and road. This gives them a huge advantage when it comes to building design, as they can be fully prefabricated off-site, which means as soon as they arrive at the required destination, they can be used right away. Therefore, to answer the question, are container buildings the future? My answer would be yes, as more containers are being made every single year, which means there'll be more containers going out of service every year, creating a continual supply of unused boxes. These containers should not be left to rot, and instead they should be turned into buildings which don't need to provide human comforts, such as the examples mentioned earlier on. Let me know your thoughts on container buildings in the comments below, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos on all things architecture and sustainability. Thank you, and I'll see you next week.